All right, well, hello, and hope you're doing good. Today we're talking about ear training for beginners. Nothing's more important than ear training, and, well, there's a few more things, but you definitely have to train your ears, and definitely know that you can train your ears. Just because you can't hear a, an F note right now, you can train your ears. Work at it, work at it diligently, and you can definitely train your ears, no matter what your age, unless you're deaf, but you know, even then you can train your ears to learn these notes and stuff like that. It's just like learning a language. Just as a child, if you're a child, it's a lot easier, but as you get older, we kind of lose a little bit of our hearing, but you can still hear, it's the vibration. People that can't hear at all can feel the vibrations. So it's definitely possible to learn these and know these vibrations and everything else. So you can definitely train your ears. Don't think you can't and don't give up and don't quit because you can, but you just gotta, take some little there's a process to it and just some steps and I have some steps here that'll help you get there as well so stick around for that and I will get right into it so if you don't know me by now I'm Donald Witt the bass instructor of the how to play bass online course at I want to play bass.com jump over there and get in sign up become a member for free I have a bass gear corner you can check out and when you're serious about your bass playing, sign up and get on there. You get a new lesson every single day from the very beginning, from the fundamentals, the basics of knowing your bass, up to advanced improvisational skills. So definitely, when you're ready for that, jump in there. And it's convenient and affordable. It's definitely affordable. It's not, um, you're not going to break the bank for it. It's less than buying, you go buy a cup of coffee every day. They're exceptional lessons that structured lessons that will help you become a better bassist by far. So, and if you haven't yet subscribed here, subscribe down below, hit that bell notification, get in the loop, you don't wanna miss a beat. I've got lots of bass guitar tips, lessons, and bass gear reviews there as well. Just it'll help you out also. So jump in there and look forward to hearing from you. Now, back to ear training for beginners. Now it's, like I said, it can definitely, you can develop your ears without a doubt all you've got to do is sit down and do the time and work at it and the best way that i found starting out to get my ears better is to figure out songs that i liked songs that weren't too difficult but they were definitely songs that would challenge me a little bit but i sat down and i figured those songs out you know just sit there and sit there and sit there and listen and listen and listen and replay and replay and replay and go back until you nail, you dial in that note that's there um, that you're looking for. Now, being a bassist, it's a little harder as the lower registers are harder to define. And, you know, more and more, it's more prevalent. These five strings, that low B is there. And, um, you know, even if they don't have five strings, a lot of times they've got drop D, you know, they've got this. But that low B is very hard to distinguish but you can do it like i say uh, with practice and practice and practice you can and now they get the the bass synth synth sounds that are hard to um break down and really get into the mix now everything as technology improves the mix is just that much better that it's really down in the mix so it's um you really got to work at it but you can get it you can get it and you can use a little common sense on where it might be you know you can guess just to get you in the ballpark and then you can dial it in find out where it is half step here or half step there you can definitely dial it in so like i said you just put in the put in the work every you know find a song you like a song because by the time you're finished ear training and practicing trying to figure that song out you're not going to like it anymore so you know that's that's the downside of it you're going to play this song so many times by the time you do figure it out, it's like you don't even want to hear the song again. So that's a downside, but you can definitely, you stick with it, you dig in and get it done and learn to like it again, you know, because there's lots of great songs. As you get better at it, you'll be able to figure them out sooner so you don't lose the appeal for the song or the appeal the song has to you in that amount of time. So you get better at it. You can just nail it, knock it out in, you know, a few few times once you figure out how things come together so that's one thing I recommend one tip is to sit down find you a good song you like and that's not too difficult I mean if you're a rock metal bassist 
and rock basses and you, a lot of these rock songs are easy you can figure those out but you know you're going to try to break out something billy sheehan or rush or um any any of that stuff it's going to really take some time so don't um you know don't bite off more than you can chew easier said easier said than done you know you want to get up there and get going but you know definitely um take your time when i was coming up as a bassist first song i went and i'd go to music classes and um two times a week and we'd go in there i didn't learn anything about music we sat there and i brought rhyme and angel mariner in and my guitarist was my teacher and i was playing bass but he taught me on um he used his classical guitar great classical guitarist he um he sat there and we figured out the song he's and that's how we did we just you know sat there for most of the lesson and figure out rhyme and age mariner the longest song ever so you know it was kind of definitely well above my level at that point but um you know i dug in and played it day in and i just never got tired of it i don't know why it's just i guess it was a novelty at that time because i just as many times i played that song it was um you know still still love it so that is that's what i had done in the beginning and you know you, you don't want to do that just take something simple um some easy songs out there smoke on the water you probably already know that most people to get an instrument that's one of the first songs you learn but that's what you've got to do you've got to sit down find a song you like that um in certain genres too i mean if you're not particular to a, a genre which i'm sure you are um you find something a genre that's not too difficult say rock rock has got some good songs that the bass lines aren't too ridiculously hard and most of the time they're following right along with the guitar part so it's not like there's um you know kind of it's might be a little harder to hear that bass in there but it's pretty much you're going to be following in the power chords if you're depending on what kind of rock what style of rock you're listening to but um a lot of times that's what's going on they're playing the root of the power chords so it's there and you can just play that and if you sit down you find a song you like just play what you hear you know just play if you hear a melody going on if that's what's saying don't don't worry about the bass line just play what you hear going on if you hear you know, hear the melody figure out the melody play the melody and yeah. i mean play the play along the song as you want to play with it but just make sure you're finding the right notes that fit in there don't play something that's way out i mean and if you can if you can't hear that there's a difference or something's not right keep working at it because it's you know you've got to dial in those notes at that particular moment you've got to be on those notes so you don't have to play just the bass line you can play the melody that's playing up there but you you definitely sit down listen pay attention play it over and over and dial those in and that's what's going to help your you develop your ear over time it'll get easier and easier so that is that's one way that's probably the best way to start out and then you're learning songs at the same time you know keeping it um keeping it real keeping it enjoyable you know you're learning songs that's what you got it for that's what you want to learn songs so sit down and figure these songs out just you know piece by piece don't have to get the whole thing learn it piece by piece and just take your time but get it right okay so that's one way Another way is to sing your solfege. You know the do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Sing that. You know a major scale. Take your C major scale and sing that. Sing each note. Do, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. I would probably play in G because it's a little high. So do, 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 re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. So that's one way sing each note you sitting there playing sing it do do or you know, it doesn't have to be do um the solfege though if you if you're going to learn the solfege then there's a lot more to the solfege than just singing do re mi fa sol la ti do there's 12 notes they've got a they've got a syllable for each note so that's something in itself so if you're you know just you know don't think about the solfege just sing it da da just Imitate that note you're playing. Da, 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 da. So that will help you as well. Just play that note and hum it. Hum it as you hear that note, repeat it 
with your mouth so you can tell you know that you know that sound and make it identical to that note that is another simple way but like i said the solfege do re do re mi fa so la ti do to where you can sing do re mi fa so la ti do on your own is something but like i said the solfege is there's a lot more to it there's a minor keys and everything is there and if you want more on that jump up jump over to i want to play bass i've got a huge section on solfege which will help you as well so do that and um so that's tip number two just play the play the sing what you're playing that note sing it da i mean if you registered on good LO, you can't sing it sing it somewhere else sing it in the register you've got you know this register here or up here if you're singing higher sing up here you know whatever works for you um mine is right here at g so um, I can sing these. Da, I don't, you know, I can sing it. Don't know if I want it out here, but you know, I can sing it. So, just do that. Top, play the note, and um, stick with that. Now, another way is if you sit down, if you have a piano nearby, or you can. Go to a piano. You can hear each note. Each note has its own frequency. That's what makes this note this note different from this note is that frequency, that vibration. That the higher the vibration, the higher the faster the vibration, the higher the note. So this right here, that string is just barely wobbling, and that's that's why it's such a low note. This note here, it's you know, it's wobbling a little faster, vibrating a little faster, making it a higher note. This sucker's screaming down here, okay? And as you get on guitar, you got even higher ones, that vibration is really going faster. The particular, the A, which we tune to A, basically is 440 hertz. So that's how fast that's vibrating right there. Um, then we've got, like I say, that's so, that's how we know. So if you go to a piano, you can sit down, you can't, really can't tell it on your instrument on a bass I just know you can find it on the on a keyboard of a piano you can find you can play one note just play the F and you can hear the the color in that note that how that's wavering that F I think F is the the most recognizable on the keyboard you can tell that F it's wavering it's just got a lot of wah 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 going on and you know that's an F and as you get to the C as you get to you know different notes the dissonance gets a little less, so it's a little harder. But each one has its distinct waving, wavering going on. So that is, um, that's one way. Sit down, take it even. If you got one at home, just hear, just play that note and just hear. It. Play a couple notes in there and just hear those. So that's that's another way to do it. You really can't you can't really distinguish it on on bass. These frequencies are just so low. But you can tell it on a piano. Um, you know, it um, it definitely is noticeable and recognizable there. So sit down. So tip number three: sit down at the piano and listen to the wavering. See which ones which, and, and then distinguish them like that. And that's one way to just develop your ear. Just really, you're listening for that, and you're really focusing and concentrating on listening to that, and that's developing your ear at the same time. Just the focus, the time you're putting into it, is what's developing your ear so so that's that's some ear training for beginners something to work at like i say there's more there's intervals it gets a little more advanced like i've got it at my course we go into in details intervals and stuff like that that will help you considerably but it all takes time ear training you know you can learn to hear chords and just and pick apart every note in that chord and that's when it gets advanced stuff that's when you get real good at it and that's what we're working at so hopefully you got some value out of this if you did help me help you hit that like button and i will catch you all in the next video on the flip flop bye now